All right then, this is building a external CO2 reactor. Uh, the parts are laid out here on the table. We've got a approximately nine inch length of two inch PVC. A set of uh, threaded and slip couplers, uh, one female end, uh, one male end, one female end. Both have slip on the other side, two inch. Two reducing, two inch reducing bushings. Uh, they reduce down to half inch threaded. A two inch slip coupling, two more reducing bushings. These go from three quarter inch slip to a half inch threaded. We have a three way elbow here, which has a half inch threaded and two three quarter inch slip ends, two half inch nipples, a pair of barbs, one with a 90 degree bend, uh, one straight. Both of them are. Uh, half inch but in real life fit fi uh, 5 eighth inch according to me and we also have one half inch to eighth inch barb this is a part that I purchased from Aquatic Echo uh, to replace the two brass fittings that were on the original parts list uh, tools for this will have some Teflon tape for sealing the thread connections and some PVC uh, solvent cleaner and cement for fastening the uh, PVC parts together. Uh, pretty straightforward assembly. Basically all the slip connections need to be treated with the PVC cleaner. Uh, this is basically a solvent that will dissolve uh, a layer, external layer of the PVC to make it uh, more receptive to bonding. And this just gets applied liberally all right so once all the parts have been primed and we move on to the PVC cement uh, we can start off by cementing basically the pieces together so this gets applied on both sides and when connecting the pieces you just press and twist to make sure you get good contact between the cement and having a paper towel handy to wipe off the excess is well, good for a neater job so to this we have attached the 2 inch coupling to the 2 inch PVC pipe and we'll now assemble one end of the reactor would it be composed of fitting one of these uh, two inch to half inch reducing bushings? Again, uh, glue is applied, cement is applied liberally. Insert and twist. And that essentially finishes one half of the reactor. The second half. Uh, much the same way. Get the well, let's put the in. the mill coupler. So I have the threaded mill two inch coupler. We're gonna attach that to the other end of the two inch PVC pipe. And to the female end of the coupler, we are going to attach that second reducing bushing. Again, push and twist. And the final bit of gluing will be the uh, reducing bushings into this three-way elbow. And that pretty much ends the uh, 
gluing portion of the assembly. What remains now is just some threaded connectors that need to be uh, Teflon taped. And the way you apply Teflon tape is to hold the part in your left hand, take the Teflon tape in your right hand, wrap it over the top of the piece, twisting it uh, away from you a minimum of three times. Basically, the way you're the way you're applying the tape ensures that when you're tightening connection, the tape is being tightened along with the threads, as opposed to being loosened by the threading. So this gets done to all thre all the threaded pieces. All right. So the final bit of assembly can be assisted with a pair of channel lock pliers. In the three-way elbow, you're going to attach one of the, the straight barb. This will be your inlet for the water. side you'll be attaching this half inch to half inch threaded to eighth inch hose barb and this will be your inlet for the CO2. Into the half inch half inch thread you will attach one of the nipples. Attach to one end of the reactor. On the opposite end of the reactor, uh, we have the second threaded coupling with the reducer. Screw in the other nipple and onto the nipple we screw the 90 degree elbow. One more piece to uh, apply the Teflon tape to. And some of these bigger fittings, I, I'm a little bit more liberal in applying the Teflon tape just to get a better seal. And then screwing these two pieces together. Completes the reactor.